Hip-hop superstar Drake, perhaps Canada's best-known export, is selling one of his obscenely opulent estates, a compound in an exclusive gated LA community filled with celebrities. But why is the mob reporter telling you about a rapper's real estate? It's not just because of the liquor cabinet in his bedroom that's better stocked than many commercial bars. It's because Drake snuck a little organized crime Easter egg into his real estate listing. Can you spot it? The mob reporter here with quick news on an amusing mob secret to the luxury Los Angeles estate being offloaded by Drake. Let me tell you about it. Drake calls this place, all 6.7 acres of it, the YOLO estate. But also on brand and on the money for the Mob Reporter subscribers is his apparent taste in movies. It cannot be an accident that every single TV screen inside, and there are a lot of them and they are big, are showing the classic gangster movie Scarface. Scarface, of course, is the gangster epic starring Al Pacino as Cuban refugee Tony Montana who arrives in America flat broke and punches his way to the top of the underworld and then has a messy fall. You see a short excerpt of the movie here, released in 1983 by Universal Pictures. It grew to become a fan favorite and critically praised. It's frequently called one of the greatest and most quoted gangster movies of all time, especially this scene, graciously shared on YouTube by Universal. Here we see Scarface facing down enemies with some heavy firepower. You wanna play with us? Okay. Say hello to my little friend! It's become a cultural icon, especially within the hip-hop scene. For instance, when police near Toronto busted a hip-hop collective who were also acting as a street gang, police seized this piece of artwork. The climactic scene in Scarface was filmed in a mansion not far away from Drake's pad, and now it is on the screen of each of Drake's TVs. Have a look. It's on here in his living room, and it's on here in his den. It's here in his bathroom. It's in his recording studio, twice. It can be seen from his dining room, and it's even on in the master bedroom. Wherever you go, you can say hello to his little friend. The only TVs that aren't showing Scarface are the ones in the pool. Now for those more interested in the star than in Scarface, now that you're here, know this. Drake has loads of dough and isn't afraid to spend it. But he's also been assembling his Hidden Hills estate for years, buying up adjacent properties and combining them into a sprawling three-mansion compound. It's anchored by the Tudor-style mansion and its eye-popping pool. Although calling it a pool just doesn't seem adequate. Maybe water park would be better. An L.A. reporter once said Drake's pool puts Hugh Hefner's to shame. Inside Drake's house are seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a fantastic-looking wine cellar, a bar, recording studio, and movie theater. I wonder if the price includes this gardener. Outside, there is a ranch and stables, a basketball court, of course, tennis, beach volleyball, and a mechanical bull. Now, it's not like Drake is retreating out of L.A. He's just upgrading. Not long ago, he bought an even pricier pile of rocks. Most of his neighbors over the years have been fellow A-listers, including Kanye West, Lil Wayne, Will Smith, Selena Gomez, Madonna, Miley Cyrus, Iggy Azalea, Ozzy Osbourne and Britney Spears. I don't think together, though. Drake's fellow Canadian, The Weeknd. There are plenty of NBA stars to feed Drake's love of basketball. Kevin Durant, Dwayne Wade, even his friend DeMar DeRozan formerly of the Toronto Raptors. Drake's pad could be yours for a modest $22.5 million. But if you put in an offer, be sure to ask that a copy of Scarface is included in the purchase price. You can then sit back with your posse in your own in-home movie theater and enjoy an American gangland classic. Make sure to send me an invite, although during intermission, you'll find me in the wine cellar. Thanks for watching. And please, subscribe.